And for our calendar, remember our vocabulary words are trapezoids. We went over that. A set of parallel lines and a set of intersecting lines makes a trapezoid. And what makes a rhombus is a very special trapezoid where all of the sides are the same length. Much like a square is a rectangle, but its sides are all the same length. So there is a correlation between a square and a rectangle and a rhombus and a trapezoid. And the key thing is that a, a square and a rhombus, all sides are the same length where a trapezoid and a rectangle, you'll have one pair of lines that are longer than a second pair of lines. Okay, that's uh, pretty important to know for our fifth grade standards. We also have some numbers, uh, prime numbers um, that we've gone over in our pattern, composite numbers, and composite numbers are all the other numbers that are not prime except for one. And then naturally we have the square, the geometrical shape square, and then we have square numbers, numbers that when squared, one times one or one squared is one, two times two or two squared is four, three times three or three squared is nine. Okay, so today we are looking at January 15th. And January 15th is uh, a day where, you know, you might have some, some ideas of what will go in there. Press pause and take a moment to think about the patterns. We know the patterns for the orange squares are square numbers. We know that the burnt orange or red numbers are the prime numbers. And so far we have 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Now these are numbers that are neither prime nor square numbers that tend to be even, right? What do you guess is going to come here? I bet you didn't see that happening, did you? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Now we have a rectangle. Now you can see a rectangle and a square are very similar. They have four vertices. They have four 90 degree angles. They have two sets of parallel lines. But the reason that this is called a square is because all the sides are the same length. And here you have two sides that are one length and then another pair of sides that are uh, a different length. And that's really the only difference between a rectangle and a square. So is a rectangle a square? No. Is a square a rectangle? Yes. Think about that one for a while. It's a little confusing sometimes. But more specifically for our pattern, why do you think 15 would be a rectangle. What is it about the number 15? Think about its factors. What makes up 15 that could be different from the other numbers? We know it's not a prime number, so we know it can't be a trapezoid. We know it's not a square number, and we know it's not orange, but look, look at all the blue, and now look at, you should start having the mathematical wheels turning in your head. It'll be interesting to see what you think. Okay, let's just put up Friday or Saturday. Well, we knew that was going to be a square number because 4 times 4, or 4 squared, is 16. What do you think 17 is going to be? If you said a prime number, you were right. Isn't this an exciting pattern for January? <laughs>